Hi, I'll be making an O'Hara near view landscape arrangement using traditional method. I'll be using iris flowers and iris leaves for the entire arrangement. Um, I'll be stabilizing the material, uh, holding it in place using two sheeples, a three ring sheeple and a two ring sheeple. The three ring sheeple will place in this configuration and we'll put it in the upper left hand corner of the arrangement. The two ring sheeple will uh, place it vertically like this and set it in the lower right hand corner of the container. So this is a pretty standard setup for the uh, sheep bows. Now there are several things to keep in mind when creating this arrangement. The first thing is the leaves we're going to use. Now typically we would be using a rabbit ear iris, but I don't have access to those so I'm using the leaves from a Louisiana iris and the flower of a Dutch iris. Uh, the leaves have very similar characteristics to a rabbit ear iris, so we can use those to mimic um, the rabbit ear iris leaves. So the first thing to be aware of is the leaves are curved at the top and they actually come to a point. And what you want is when you place two leaves together, those points should be facing each other. So you want them more like this and never where they're facing away from each other. The second thing is uh, there will always be a longer leaf and a shorter leaf. So again, one will always be longer than the other. And these two leaf groups are classified into a frontal group and a reverse group. In the frontal group, the shortest leaf is in front of the long leaf. So the shortest leaf is in front of the frontal group. In the reverse group, the shortest leaf is behind the longest leaf. Okay? So there's one more grouping that I'll talk about, but I'll do that when I get to it. So what we're going to do is we're going to start from the back on the subject side and move forward. And so we're going to start with a frontal leaf group. So again, the short one is in front of the long one. I'm going to measure it, the standard measurements like length plus step, and then I'm going to cut it flat and I'm inserting it in the small opening of the three ring sheeple. We're actually going to use these three small openings to insert the next few leaves. So the next thing we're going to add is the flower. So one thing to note on the flower is the flower is actually covered by two sheets an outer one and an inner one. So the outer sheath partially covers the inner sheath. The, the outer sheath actually is the front of the flower. So when you insert this flower, you want it to face forward. So the outer sheath is facing forward. And because it's an early spring arrangement, uh, the flower is actually going to be shorter than the leaves. And we're going to insert it in the same opening as the leaves. So both the, the frontal leaf set and the iris flowers are in this back opening. Now, now we're going to add another, two, another group of two leaves in front of the iris flower. And in this case, this is a reverse leaf group set. So that means the shortest one is behind the longest leaf. Okay. And notice the longest one on this group is on the left side. So the next group, the longest one will be on the right side. And again, I'm going to cut. And this, this group set is shorter than this group set, but still longer than the flower. To stabilize this, I'm going to get a piece of the stem that I cut off and I'm going to bend it so that when I insert, I use that as the stay that stabilizes the leaf. Okay. So now we have a front group, a, a flower, and a reverse group. Now in this last opening, we are going to make a five leaf group set. And it begins by creating um, 
two front leaf group sets. So the longest one's on the right, the longest one's on the left, the longest one will be on the right. Okay, so here's, here's the way it's going to look. This one then has another leaf that's very short that's behind both of those. And then we create another frontal leaf group. So, and these will be very short. So this is how we assemble a five leaf group set. Okay. And we can cut these. And those those that front that frontal group set, you want those leaves to be very short. It mimics the growth pattern of the rabbit ear iris. And we insert those in that front opening. And again, to stabilize, I'll add another leaf. Okay. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to add what's called the seed leaf group in, in, these, in this opening. And that represents uh, the first set of leaves that come out of the water for the rabbit ear iris. You want smaller leaves or thinner leaves to represent that. And I'm going to place it there. And again, fold up and insert to get them to stand up. Okay. And then in front of that, we're going to use another frontal leaf group. And in that case, This way. And when you create this arrangement, you want to make sure that there's space in between these two group sets. Okay. Let me save these. So now we're going to start working on the object group. And in this case, we're going to work from uh, the front backwards. Uh, one thing to note is as we go from the back to the center, the leaf groups get shorter. Same thing as we work from the front uh, towards the middle, the leaf groups will get shorter. So they're longest on the outside, shortest in the middle. So let me create another uh, five leaf group sets. So I have my, my first frontal. I'm going to add a short leaf in the back that faces towards the longest leaf. And then at the very bottom, I'm going to add another frontal group set. Yes. Okay. And I'm going to insert it in the front opening. So I'm actually inserting it in this opening in the two ring sheet ball. I'm then going to add two more group sets, one in this middle opening and one in this back opening of the two ring shape ball. But first, let me add the flower. And again, the flower will be shorter than the leaves. And the front 
of the flower is actually going to face the subject flower. So the front is facing backwards. Okay. Now we just have two more two leaf group sets to do. And they're going to be reverse group sets. And again, the longest one is on the right. In this group set, the longest one will be on the left. It's a reverse, it's a reverse um, group. And so the shortest leaf will be behind the longest leaf. Holding it up, placing it. And finally, one final group set. And again, it's a reverse group, so the shortest one will be in front of the longest one. And we went right, left, right, so the longest one will be on the right side. And this group set will be shorter than the one in front of it. And here's another way of maintaining the two sets together. And that is to actually fold the two leaves, the bottom of the two leaves, either forward or backwards. And in order to help that stabilize and uh, absorb water, we create some notches at the very bottom where we've um, bent it. So, a traditional method, early spring iris arrangement. 